Hi, I'm Emmy. Welcome to Yoga with Em. You're here for Beginner's Yoga 2, and this is where I'm going to show you the next set of beginner postures. If you haven't done Beginner Yoga 1, please don't worry. You can hop straight into this, and I'll explain everything. So grab your mat, come and join me. This is yoga for every day, for everyone. to beginner's yoga too. I'm going to lead you through some more standing postures. These are key postures that you'll find in a yoga flow sequence in any yoga studio. So please start with a wide leg stance today. We're going to be building strength in the lower body. That's the main aim of uh, a lot of the postures that we'll run through today. Remember to listen to your body and do what feels right for you. I'm going to give you options in each posture, so take the option that's right for you. We're going to turn our right toes to the front of the mat. And we're going to bend the right knee. The left foot, we can widen our stance a little bit, so maybe widen those feet. The left foot is either lining up with the back of the mat or it's at a 45 degree angle. Sink a little bit into that front knee. So my alignment cue for you is going to be to have the knee stacked over the ankle. And if you reach out your arms, ideally we want the um, ankles roughly in line with the wrists. So you may need to widen your stance now, nice and wide. The left hip likes to come forward, roll it back. So this posture here is warrior two or vibhadrasana two in Sanskrit. So it's an asymmetrical pose where we've got the back leg straight, the front leg is bent, and we want to level off our body to the side. So often we see this back hip twisting, draw it back. To stay strong, um, draw the navel into the spine. So engage your core. And then you'll find a lot of people are holding really tense and their shoulders are here. See if you can relax your shoulders down. Now reach through opposite fingertips. Vibhadrasana 2, warrior 2. Take a gentle eye gaze over the front fingertips. Soft eye gaze or focal point is called a drishti. Remember to breathe, so don't hold your breath. Breathe smoothly evenly. If you experience pain in your shoulders or discomfort, bring your hands down to your hips at any time. We're going to take extended side angle from here. So rest your right forearm onto your right thigh. Keep the position of the legs just the same. So keep a bend in the front leg. And now take the left arm up and over. So your bicep is kind of just hovering above the ear. Draw the left hip back. It might like to roll forward, so draw it back. Try not to give too much weight into this forearm. Just It's just resting there. Again, we're building strength in the lower body extended side angle. Oh, let's come back up through warrior two, Vibhadrasana two. Straighten out the legs, release the arms. And let's step the legs in. Let's have a little break here. That can feel really strong in the legs to begin with. So pedal them out. Just get that blood flowing again. 
And then we're going to take our wide stance. Let's take warrior two on the other side. So turn your left toes to the front of your mat. Got a bend in the left knee. Roll the shoulders back and down, engagement through the core. Soft eye gaze or dristy over the front fingers. From here, let's transition into extended side angle. So we take the forearm down and the top arm up and over. So we're making a lovely long line, diagonal line with the body, right from the fingertips down to the little toe edge of that foot that's anchoring into the mat. So you really press through the little toe edge of that foot to anchor down to ground. Inhale as you come back up through warrior two. Exhale, releasing the arms, turning the toes to face forward. And you can walk or pop the feet back into the center, pedal through. I'm going to take you into a balance. So tree pose. Tree pose, we've got three options. Often bringing hands to heart center is a good place to start your balance. Engaging the core. Your toes may be touching down, or you can bring your left foot to the calf, or take it high, but never press it directly against the knee. And now find a soft, uh, point off ahead of you that's not moving to focus on. When you're in tree pose, perhaps you'd like to try spreading your branches of your tree to stabilize yourself, engage the core once again. Bring your hands to heart center and lower your foot down. So the more you practice this, the more stable your tree will become. Let's balance ourselves out today. So perhaps toes touching down, perhaps on the calf or a little higher. The core is engaged. Check in with your shoulders that they're relaxed down away from the ears. A soft eye gaze or dristy on a focal point ahead of you. And then perhaps the branches of your tree spread. Maybe not today, see how you're feeling. Your core is engaged. Really grounding down through the foot that's on the mat to be able to rise tall in your tree. Coming out of tree, hands back to heart center. Release your foot down. Thank you so much for joining me for Beginner's Yoga 2 in our standing postures. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep up to date with more videos I've got coming. Um, I've got some more beginner sessions for you. Namaste. Mm -hmm.